Hey there, Boots Owen here. It's time to clean these solar panels. I've rigged up a power washing arrangement for them. They're a bit grubby now. They've, they sit under this sycamore tree and well, it drips on them at this time of year and then they get dust stuck to them. So I've kind of started washing up there and I thought, well, let's do a comparison before and after. So to do the washing, I've used, I'm using a patio scrubbing karcher head that I've bodged with a bit of copper pipe from all the way there through this aluminium pipe all the way down to here with a handle. So basically just cut the karcher handle in half, pushed a bit of copper pipe in it, and it's it leaks a bit, but it does the job for washing, I don't know, once every two months or less. The hose on it is less than perfect. It leaks out here, but it's a hose. Once it's under pressure, that'll leak there. But uh, it fits onto this Bosch, which I found in a skip ages ago. And that runs off rainwater from the tanks that I have in behind here. The tanks are off in the back of the bike shed there. So at the moment these panels are generating 13, 1.3 kilowatts, something like that. So let's give them a bit of a wash and see what happens. I made a video about this before, but I think one of these jets is not working properly. So pull out this little metal hoop. This should release this guy here. It should do, say, like that. It should be clean. It's a jet in the center there. Okay, so in the garage, let's have a look in this one. You see that little tiny dot in the center? This one's okay. Let's give it a shot anyways. be able to see that side you can see the light coming through both sides there we go so this one isn't playing it's dark sometimes blowing it that way will do it nothing nothing you need a pin or a needle uh, so these are welding tip pins but Anything will do it. I'm just going to try and find the finest one. I think that's probably all right. Just find the hole and poke it in. That's it. There was some resistance there from something. Give another shot of air. And we can see through that. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, I can see through. So if you don't have compressed air, just bring it into the kitchen sink and use a needle to do it, I'd say. Let's push that one back in. It should kind of snap into position, I think. There it is. Maybe it only goes one way. Yeah, it has, it has uh, kind of sides on it. I'll show you now. That's kind of relief reliefs on each two of the sides there. So you only go in one way. This one. This one has some stuff in it. A bit of a leaf or something. So there we go. That's it. Okay, let's try again.
So I tried there with the hose to rinse off the last bit of dust, but there's still kind of crumbs on it that are damp. We'll take a look at the inverter now to see what it's like when they're shiny and wet. And I wonder if when they're dull, do they take more sun? Let's go in and see what they're doing now. It was 1.3 before. Well, that's an improvement. It's 2.1 there, or two, two kilowatts. That's almost a doubling, not quite. An extra third thereabouts. And we let them dry off. Now the sun is coming around and it's coming out a bit more. So maybe that's got to do with it, but I don't think they were over two kilowatts when they're that dirty. So that's a success for 30 minutes of pulling stuff in and putting stuff away and washing. We'll come back when they're dry and have another look. And so here it is a few minutes later, maybe half an hour and it's 1.9. I would say the sun's out even more now. So I wonder, does it work better when it's wet or maybe it's colder when it's wet? Something like that. You tell me in the comments below if you think there's anything in that. Maybe if it's wet and it's cold, it works better. Something about heat and solar panels. But if you're wondering about solar panels and stuff like that, check out Andy Reynolds book available from Bimble Solar. It's called Wind and Solar Electricity version four or edition four. It's worth a read. Andy goes into some more detail about these things better than I could explain. And it's a good primer. I read it a while ago and I posted a couple of videos about it. Go out and get Wind and Solar version four for yourself. It's a good book. Right, other jobs to do. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.